Hi, my name is Preet Patel and I'm a developer advocate here at Meta. Today we are going to be looking at a cool new feature that we've introduced to Meta 7, which is going to improve the user experience for customers interacting with your business. Up until now, a credential offer and a presentation request would require a wallet holder to scan a QR code or click on a deep link. Although convenient, nothing beats the simplicity of not having the user do anything. Secure did messaging allows you to do just that. It allows you to send a message, such as a credential offer, to the Matter Wallet using a push notification. Secure did messaging is based on the Didcom version 2 specification at its core, which allows end-to-end -end encryption uh, of messages between the sender and the receiver. The unique thing with this feature is that unlike conventional identifiers which are centralized and created by third parties such as emails and phone numbers, our approach allows you to use the decentralized identifier created for an interaction between your tenant and the Matter Wallet user. In this tutorial, I will walk you through how to send a credential offer using secure dead messaging, which then triggers a push notification on the Matter Wallet. As of today, we support three different types of messages, credential offer, presentation request, and a message signaling revocation of a credential. We plan to increase the types of messages you can send in future releases. All right, let's get into it. To get started, you'll need a couple of things. First, you'll need to have the latest version of Matter Wallet installed with notifications turned on. You will also need to know the DID for your tenant's interaction with the wallet. This can be obtained either through a DID auth request or it is a part of the subject field in the ID token response on an OIDC presentation request. I've already got mine using a didoth, and you can find an easy guide on how to do that on Matter Learn. I'll link them down in the description below. So I'm not going to waste much time and jump right into Postman, and I'm going to show you the three APIs that you need to hit in order to send a message successfully to the Matter wallet. The first one is you need to create a um, credential offer message. And to do that, you need to have already created a issuer. Um, in this case, I'm using an OIDC issuer, so I already have an issuer ID. If you haven't, if you don't know how to, or if you haven't created an issuer to issue a credential, there are videos and tutorials on Learn as well um, on how you can do that. So go watch those and then come back to this one. For now, um, the API that, that the endpoint that we're going to hit is um, your tenant, uh, your base tenant URL. Um, slash OIDC slash V1 slash issuers and then you want to put your issuer ID in um, and that's, that's just the UUID of that issuer slash offers. In the payload, um, you'll need to include two things. The first thing is the did of the sender uh, represented using this form, uh, from um, field and in that you want to put your tenants um, did and the second one is this to field where you can you can set an array of uh, you can set uh, uh, you can have a list of dids that you want to send a message out to all uh, all together. So you, uh, that's why we've created an array. Um, but in this case, since we're only sending it to one um, wallet, which is my phone right over here, I've only got one did that I've already obtained, and I've put that in over here. So we can go ahead and press send. And this is going to create me my um, offer message. And all we have to do is copy that and keep that safe. And I'll now go and introduce you to our second endpoint, which is the encrypt um, endpoint. So this allows you to encrypt your message um, so that when you're sending it, uh, nobody can see it, including us. So the endpoint that you want to hit for that is um, mess slash messaging slash encrypt. And there's three things that we are going to need uh, for this uh, for this API endpoint. First one's uh, your sender did URL. And this is going to be your sender's key agreement um, URL. Now the key agreement URL is different from the did that you use and are used to um, conventionally. And the way we can find that key agreement URL is you can take your um, did, which I'll just go back in here and copy that and go into, um, go into your did discovery, so that's slash v1 slash dids, and I'm going to put in my did and press send, and that's going to resolve the did document um, for your did. You want to scroll down and find this key agreement section, and you want to copy that uh, the did uh, URL in there in the ID field. So we take that, 
and we put that in place of our sender.url. Now your recipient.url, you want to do the same thing. Um, you want to go back to your to field and copy all the dids that you've got there. Since I've only got one, I'm going to go ahead and copy that and place that in my recipient did URLs. Uh, ooh, I did something wrong there and fixed. All right, and the next thing you're going to need is that payload, the, the offer that we created um, in the previous uh, API call that is right over here. So you want to copy all of that and then go back and in the payload, put that in. Let's format that all nice and dandy. Uh, there we go. Perfect. And then you can just go ahead and press send. And this is going to create your JWE, um, your encrypted message that then you can um, send using uh, um, our messaging endpoint. So what you want to do here now is copy the content inside the JWE um, field. You don't want to copy this entire payload, the entire um, response. You want to copy what's inside of the JWE. Uh, field, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then you, we just go ahead and hit the slash messaging slash send endpoint. Um, your message in the message put in that uh, encrypted payload, so I'm going to go ahead and do that there. And in your to field, you just want to go back and copy the dead from your um, for your wallet uh, holder. I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. And we're ready to hit send. All right, so before I send that, I'm just going to go ahead and open up my Matter wallet. And now we can just go in and press send on the API. And on the mobile device, we are going to receive a new message that you can tap. And you can see that we have our credential offer right over there that I can just go ahead and no do my normal um, authentication process and go ahead and obtain my credential right over there. So that's it. It is that simple to send a secure dead message to the mobile uh, to the Matter Mobile Wallet, and you can see that we didn't have to scan any QR codes, which, in my opinion, is a huge plus. Right. So now I want to show you this um, entire demo in a sort of a use case situation. Right. I am on a bank website, and I want to open a bank account with these guys, and we can uh, you can access this demo as well if you want at demo-product. Dot matter dot global. We're going to come up with a better name um, down in the road, but for now, that's what it is. Um, and I'm at this bank website, and to create my bank account, I'm going to need my passport and my um, proof of residence. So if you can think about this, this is just essentially a presentation request. And at the start of the video, we talked about the two ways that you can obtain a DID, which was using a DID auth um, and also a presentation request. And in this situation, what the bank website is going to do is it's going to show me a presentation request, and it is going to capture my uh, uh, Matter Wallet holder did from that presentation request, and then use that to create a account credential and send it through to the um, uh, Matter Wallet directly without the need to scan any QR codes. All right, so let's let's talk more show. I'm going to go ahead and press this um, show QR code to start my um, bank account creation process. I'll go in and scan this QR code, and you can see that it's asked me for my passport and my um, proof of residence. I'm going to go ahead and press send on that. And you can see that we are done. It says that it's going to send me a push notification, which I've received just now, and I tap on that. And you can see that I've got my credential offer for my bank account credential. If you'd like to know any more information about secure dead messaging, go ahead and visit uh, learn.matter.global for more detailed and comprehensive guides on how to get how to do all of these, including how you can send a revocation uh, message for a credential and do presentation requests over um, uh, secure dead messaging. Until then, thank you for watching.